You are watching Sipping Off the Cuff on TequilaAficionado.com. I'm Alex Perez. I'm Mike Morales here in uh, Texas, and Alex is in Southern California in the Area 51 of Tequila. <laughs> uh, what are we tasting tonight, Alex? We are doing the third, one, two, three, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Añejo from yes. uh, Roger Klein's collection called Mexican Moonshine. Mexican moonshine. Uh, yeah. What did we say the gnome number was on, on, on the? 1472. 1472, that's Fabricas de Tequilas Finos. Um, you can look up the number on our gnome list that's on our website. Uh, we, it, as soon as the, the new uh, uh, gnome list comes out, we have uh, our version of the gnome list. And it's got links to all of our videos, all of our sipping off the cuffs. Any any of these that have won, but Brands of Promise for 2013 are also listed there. So you'll be able to pick and choose. It, it's it's really a neat system. And uh, we just wrote a blog post on what a gnome list is. So that's gonna that'll be up on the on the um, on the feature we call um, uh, the 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 education of a tequila drinker. So we're we're trying to you know show people that. That there's there's no real mystery you know it's just a matter of whatever tools it is that um, uh, oh wow we just got six thousand views for the month I just got that this was this is breaking news I just got this sent to me that's six thousand hits for March it's our best month it's our best month since we relaunched that's crazy congratulations Alex excellent congratulations Hey. So we're going to celebrate by tasting the Mexican Moonshine Añejo. Now, th they came out with Mexican Moonshine Añejo, I believe, last year. I think was the first year that they came out with this one. And um, Roger hates to admit it, but in the interview, you'll see him. You'll see him admit it that he's starting to. He's turning into an Añejo guy, because I, I think this one. Of, of all three of the varietals that we've had, the, the Blanco, the Reposado, and then this one, I think, I think he feels that this was really indicative of what, what they were trying to accomplish. But, you know, Alex, the color on this Añejo is very similar to the color of the Reposado that we, we did the episode it before. It is. I th it's almost, it almost looks a little lighter to me. Um, if you do, if you take them together side by side, I still have it. Bear with me. I still have the, the repo poured. Um, in my left hand, you'll see the reposado right here, this one. Uh, and the lighting's probably not that good. And here's the, the añejo. They're, they're, all, they're oh. almost the same. Very the, close. Yeah, they're very close. The repo is a little bit more pale uh, by comparison. But uh, this one's got more of a deeper golden honey kind of a color, I think. And so, um, yeah, it's a beautiful color. Beautiful legs, too, on this one. Wow. Love the nose on that. Yeah, wow. Okay. And it's, it's bourbony. You know what I mean? It's got that, it's got that uh, it's got extra char got on it. Bourbon notes in there, yeah. Yeah. And honey, it, 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 the, the, the notes on the website will mention uh, things like honey. Uh, I, I don't necessarily get vanilla. I, uh, it says even tobacco. That's a possibility. Anytime you deal with bourbon, you, you once in a while will get, will get a smoky, kind of a smoky um, hint. Yeah, I'm not getting much vanilla, but you definitely get, get the wood in there. Yeah. The honey. Got a real sweetness in the nose. You know what else I'm getting uh, that they don't mention, but I, I, and that was one of the first things I pulled was cloves. I could get something like a like a like a clove, I think. What do you think of the? Well, how's the? How's it going? Going down good, huh? It's <laughs> very good. Mm. Wow. Mm. Yeah, the the uh, it's so many layers on the nose. Mm -hmm. A lot of layers. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, that, it's a, that retro nasal is really nice, too, when it comes back up. Oh, wow. It doesn't finish sweet. You notice that? 
Wow. Nice balance. You know, I mentioned off camera that that the the blanco was was subtle. It, it had a it had a good structure to it, but the the repo and the añejo really just kind of, you know, they they they. they I think it added more to it. You know what I mean? Um, the the wood resting it in the in the in the bourbon barrels was really the secret when you have when you start off with that blanco juice. It really acquired some nice. Um, some of the nicer points that you get from bourbon, you know, without losing its its tequila identity. I agree with you. I don't I don't get any of the vanilla. I don't either. I don't know where you know. I get more cloves, like I said, but that's just me. I don't know. I don't know what you're if you get any of that. Some some people might even call it a cinnamon. Yeah, I get more cinnamon more than uh, cl uh, any cloves. Really? Okay. But, but uh, yeah, we get the honey and, and the wood notes. Yes. And the wood notes, are, they're, they're very pleasant. It, it really adds to that nose, you know. Um, but it's not losing. You know, I think they picked a really good, a really good Blanco, a really good base. You know, it, it, it didn't. It didn't grab me by the shirt like like the repo and the añejo have. And and I think that I think this I think we got another brand of promise nominee. I agree. The añejo is excellent. Wow. It's um it's another good another great zipper. I think so too. Um, I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't do. You know, this would be a great. Uh, did you, Steve, at the end of a, a dinner? Uh, it for those of you that, that do smoke cigars, I, I think it'd be a great cigar uh, a pairing, uh, tequila. But on its own, maybe maybe on the rocks. But I would. You know, I wouldn't do it on the rocks. But but some people would. You know. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I do with these. What do you do with those? Oh, oh, with oh, this one. Negroni. Right. Am I right? Uh, no, 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 no. No, what are you doing? No, I'm, I'm going to do I'm gonna, with this and the repo. Repo is is incredible. Yeah. And this this follows up right up after that. Um, I think the repo is my favorite. Yeah, I think three. Yeah, uh, I you know, know, it really know, it really makes a, an impression on you when you when you yeah, get I into think it. the idea was a grown up repo. <laughs> uh, it's nice. <laughs> I'd love to try making an old fashioned with this. Ah, uh, okay, old fashioned. But what I was going to tell you is, with these tequilas, uh, you know, this this is the type that I will put in my flask and uh, take with me when I go out on an outing. Yes. Um, and and funny thing is, is everybody usually knows I've got a flask with me. Everybody. So which I end up having to talk about. You never share your. Wait, 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 wait. You never share your flask with me. What? What's up with that? I was there a whole year. You never showed me your flask. Show me your flask. <laughs> you know what I? You know, they're behind me or somewhere. You know what I like about about some of these. Uh, I I agree with you. First of all, when you carry a flask, carry a ripple or an añejo. You yeah. know because um, I don't know about you, but I carry my flask uh, in my, in my breast pocket of my jacket, and there's something about. Um, I, I don't know if, well, most of these are metal anyway, but the there's some, heat. there's, yeah, the body heat. There's something about, about body temperature and an añejo or a ripple that really brings out the wood notes. It's very pleasant. You know, when you, when you, <laughs> I know we sound like a couple of alkies, but, but it's true. Anybody who carries a flask will tell you if you use a, a ripple or an añejo, it, the wood notes are a much more appreciable and you're right. I guess this would be the tequila that you would sneak in and it's into, not, into a Roger it's Klein not, concert. <laughs> it's not that we're cheap. These, these are high quality. Yeah, right. Uh, spirits. Yeah, and because I'd rather sip on this than, than drink a watered down fifteen dollar drink. Yeah, of so. course. <laughs> uh, yeah, and if you know you can if you can pass security and nobody's gonna stop you. Um, no, you're absolutely correct. I thought I was the only one. I was just closet like you know, flask. High five! High five! High five! High five. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you're gonna have to share your your añejo with me. Uh, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is Roger Klein's Mexican Moonshine. This is the añejo. 
Uh, Alex and I both agree, brand a promise nominee yeah, for, for 2014. Um, and where, and where, where are they selling it, Mike? Uh, they, you know, in Texas, they they had a problem with their distributors, so they are not being currently not being distributed in Texas. Um, they they are uh, good question. You know, that there is a, on their website, they uh, uh, there there's a, a a tab where you say find it, and they oh, have distributors. Know, yeah. So you can go to their website, uh, mexicanmoonshine.com, and it it'll be there'll be a tab on there that'll tell you where you can find it. Right now in Texas, they're they're looking for a uh, a new distributor. So if anybody out there sees this and wants to help us out, by all means. Um, but in any case, oh, you can find it in LA. Yeah. Yeah, uh, when they first came out, in New, you can find it in New Mexico, too, actually. At one point, uh, I, I think that National Distributing carries it uh, in New Mexico when I was there. And when they first came out, you could actually get it with a, with a Roger Klein CD taped to the bottom of it. That's how they were introducing it into the market. Um, yeah, so I don't know what that CD was all about, but in any case, um, there you go. In L.A. area, they have it at uh, High Times in Costa Mesa. Well, there you go. And a few other places. But very good. Yeah. So, another brand of promise. Yeah, another brand of promise for 2014. Uh, this was Mexican Moonshine Añejo. Watch for Roger Klein's Mexican Moonshine article. It will be coming out on tequilaficionado.com here shortly. We're going to try and coordinate the, our sipping off the cuffs with, uh, with the article. And at the end of April, he's releasing his next album called The Independent. So they're taking pre-orders now. If you're a Roger Klein fanatic, like the like, like all forty thousand people that follow this guy, um, do so. Go get your album now. Um, they they have a great sound. They're they're, they're wonderful guys. They're uh, he he is such a, you know. I and I think you'll agree with me when when you talk to these guys, they have a certain persona that you think is gonna is gonna come across, but it's not it's not like that. They're uh, he's very down to earth. Uh, has a long history with tequila, and and was actually a psychology student in college, so he's got an interesting background. Yeah, it wasn't like he was in music all this time. So uh, anyway, you'll be able to read that in the article. But in the meantime, I'm Mike Morales. Hey, well, real quick before you sign off, yes, I'm wondering because because of his of his palate, obviously he went from repo to loving his añejo. Yes, he if he would take the juice the next step forward, the next step. Which oh. is uh, extra? Extra, I I I can't recall if he we if we even went there. Um, I would imagine that it would that it would probably be a good move for him uh, because these aged versions are are very good. Yeah. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me, you know. Um, I'm not sure when, you know, I think he wants to get a real strong foothold in the, in, in the industry, in the, in, you know, in the tequila world in the spirits world. And then it wouldn't surprise me, but, uh, but, it, maybe, but we, it, maybe when Roger Klein hears this. Okay. All right. Maybe he could set a couple barrels aside to test and we'll help you taste them. And we'll, we'll, we'll help him select the, the, It'll be the tequila aficionado this. barrel version of well, Mexican moonshine. You know, hey, you know, we'll help with. We we got nothing to do, right? <laughs> uh, hey, I'm Alex Perez. I'm Mike Morales. This was Mike. sipping off the cuff, right? <laughs> As always, sip wisely. <laughs>